are at the Cedo uh, for Forty Mile Creek. That's where we are. Yeah, where we are. And uh, we're with Dave Ferris. He is the project manager. Correct. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. No, like literally. Sounds right. I, I read something online that you were involved with a uh, escarpment project. Can you tell us about that? The escarpment project. What they do is they organize cleanups along the Niagara escarpment, Hamilton mostly, but it's starting to spread out towards uh, Niagara more. And uh, every they have the event the same time, the same day, through all the locations. So right now, as we're doing the cleanup here, yeah. all the way through Hamilton, people are doing cleanups too. Exactly wow. the same thing. And then after it's over and everything wraps, wraps up, they have a big uh, a festival, they call it, mini festival, yep. with live entertainment, barbecues going, everything. And, up uh, by so, the uh, Devil's Punch Bowl. Devil's Punch Bowl, yeah. Which you might have seen on one uh, video from Chasing the Iron Man. I still haven't got that uh, Earth Cache. So, oh. uh, I've driven past it so many times, so maybe I'll get it today. I think it's on your radar for this afternoon. Just All right. Gotcha. You no, the oh, just, just here to clean up. Okay. Sniffing the okay. Okay. There. And even some graffiti. This is litter. I mean, it just... Some of it's good, sometimes, maybe, I don't know, but this is just, just not right. All right, we're under the uh, railroad bridge here with uh, Run Craig Run. Hey, everybody. Hey, and what brings you out to uh, Aceto? Well, I really like to help clean up the mess that everyone else makes. Yeah, and why, why is it they can't clean up themselves? That's a great question. If I knew the answer, I'd be out there doing that as a full-time job. <laughs> and apparently it costs quite a lot of money uh, for a gall governments to clean up mess that people just can't seem to take care of themselves. Yeah. It's amazing. It's disheartening, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not helping ourselves as a human race here, yeah. are we? But thanks to uh, cashers like you and other people and volunteers for cleaning up, and uh, hopefully we can extend it beyond Earth Day, Earth Week, and that's what I'd like to get out on this message, this on this episode, is keep it going, you know? Yep. Do your part. And My message would be every day is Earth Day. Yeah, and every cash adventure is a Cedo adventure. That's right. Take cash a bag it. with you every day. Yes, take a bag with you every day. See, there you go. He's on the right track. <laughs> Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, we just had a phenomenal idea. Actually, Run Craig Run did. And uh, let, th tell us this idea. You saw this somewhere on a trail. Okay, so as a cacher, you can take a bag with you and clean up on the trail. But as a cash owner, what about putting small bags for garbage inside your caches, encouraging people to take them and clean up while they continue, continue their adventure. Awesome, awesome idea. So you can even with existing caches, go out when you do a maintenance run, if they're, if they're regulars or larges, put some grocery bags in there with a sign yeah. to say, hey, take a bag, help the environment. It's awesome one, idea. One way we can do our part. Let's all do it. All okay? right. So I, uh, I found the swag. I don't think that's the kind of swag we're dealing with. Ah, right, we found another cacher. And your name is? Tina. Tina? Dawson 2760 for Geocache. Dawson 20... How do you remember that number? It was my old, old address years ago. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So you, if, you, if she gets lost, you, you know where to take her. That's right. And what are you out here today for? Just helping the community by cleaning up a little bit. Awesome. And uh, why? why? Why do you do it? Makes uh, you feel good. Makes you feel to good? Give back. Awesome. Mm -hmm. To give back. That's awesome. Yeah. Pay it forward. We have uh, half of Allie and Joe. Can you guess which one this is? It's not Joe. <laughs> and we have... Liam. Liam. Wow, cool. And what brings you out today? Uh, we are seedling the 40 Creek Trail. 40 yeah. Creek Trail, yeah. Cedo, yeah. What brings you out to do cedos? Um, to help out the environment and to clean up and just enjoy the trails. Awesome. Thanks very much. No problem. Good job. Thanks. Keep up the good work. <laughs> what do you What do you think about people who litter? What What is the motivation? Um, uh, just laziness usually, I think. Laziness. Just, probably. Yeah. 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 I've read, and I think that is the number one reason, is just pure laziness. Nice just can't be bothered. Yeah. It's a shame. So we're here today at 40 Mile Creek, uh, just east of Hamilton, Ontario, to do CEDO, uh, run by uh, Dave Ferris and uh, Cheryl Ferris of the Kramer Bears crew. They're doing a phenomenal job uh, coordinating with the region's uh, initiative to clean up 
the uh, Niagara Escarpment. And it becomes a mystery. Why do people litter? What is it that makes them not want to take their garbage with them? And the people have tried to solve that forever. So it, it's up to volunteers like you and me and the other cashers that we see here today to help clean up. People think, oh, somebody else will pick it up for me. Uh, it's not my responsibility. It, uh, it's too heavy. I don't want to carry it. Whatever the reason, but it's, it's just amazing. And it costs governments hundreds to thousands to millions of dollars to take care of litter that can be uh, easily disposed of by people themselves. And uh, hopefully through ventures like this, Earth Day and uh, CEDOs in the spring and fall that we can, as cashers, carry this forward to make it a routine exercise. And that's where I want to challenge you with an idea that I've come up with. And Run Craig Run earlier has said that uh, you can do as a cash owner. Most geocachers or hikers usually carry a bag of some sort with them when they're caching or hiking. And, uh, and Lyric Lass has said this to me many, many times. Gee, I wish we had a bag with us when you know we're out hiking and we find some garbage. And I made this little pack up. Everybody can do this, it's so simple. Inside the pack are 10 uh, grocery bags, leftover grocery bags. We all get them and you know it's one of those things and take that, take 10 bags, put them into a, a straight line, put them all together, put them into a Ziploc bag and it goes up really really small. Then when you're caching and you're going out on the trail you can see some garbage but when you come back pull out a bag and then uh, pick the trash up on your way. So we don't just have CEDO days or CEDO month in the spring and the fall, we CEDO all the time. Let's do that all the time. It's a challenge to you. Will you take that challenge? Redheaded Fury, awesome. Yes. And what brings you out to the, well, the event today? Well, some community service and some caching. Community service and caching. Have you uh, cached here before? I have not, actually. Me neither. What are you, are you have any goals today besides uh, picking up lots of trash? Well, I have 35 left to get my 9,000 cash. Oh, I think you can do that today? <laughs> I'm hoping to. You're hoping to. Well, can, can I say early congratulations <laughs> on number 9,000. That's awesome. awesome. And I uh, guess who I'm with now today is one of the people that's been helping us out with giveaways. This is Brian from Cashier's Corner Store. That's awesome. Yep. And what brings you out today? Well, we're heading to Niagara. So we've had to stop in here and yep. meet everybody down this way and have some fun. And bring yep. me some log sheets. That too, of course. Because I have a lot of maintenance to do. Do you? Well, you got some good ones there now. Oh, yep. thank, that's awesome because yep. that's what I'm so, needing. Because every time I look, log's wet. These ones are waterproof, so you should be good. Awesome. You should Thanks, be good. Brian. No problem at all. Hey, go to Cash's Corner Store. Link Cash's is Corner down Store. the bottom. There we go. There. Catch on. A little bit of work and I think we can get this one going. Just, you know, tust off the rust and uh, it'll be good. No? And here's the other half of the uh, Kramer and Bears. We were echoing. What are we doing? Better half. Better half. The better half? Oh, okay. The Kramer and Bears crew is, is Cheryl. I ain't afraid of Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for how, coming out and cleaning up today. All right. It's going well? It is. Awesome. Uh, oh, have look. a photo bomber. The photo bomber. Yay. See, we're getting her in here one way or the other. Whether she'll speak up or not. And down. Up <laughs> and down. No letter. Awesome. Well, the CEDO did one thing. It finally brought me to the Devil's Punch Bowl. Awesome, awesome sight. And uh, I'm finally going to get the earth cache that's here. That's a bonus. Where will geocaching take you? The trail is looking pretty good now. The crew has come through and done a really good job at cleaning up. But it's unfortunate that we have to do this on Earth Week. Why can't we have an Earth Month or an Earth Year? Why can't we just take care of it all the time? Try to put forward, don't litter, just don't do it. Maybe we can get people to stop doing it and we won't have to do this regular cleanup thing all the time. It just, it's amazing. Because there's only one planet that we live on and it's not that big. It's a small world in the middle of nothing. We only have one world, and it is small. <laughs>